Hey everyone, this is Jake Teal from OPSM, Mental Toughness Coach. These are really, really significant uh, trying times in all of our lives today. What I want you to think about in this process today is that we're going to be talking about some things that are going to help you to become a peak performer, the highest level of peak performance. I just want to thank all of you for coming in today because this is a big step in your journey to where you're trying to get to. That journey for whoever's listening today can be significant, whether it's trying to play in the Prem League, trying to get a scholarship in the United States, or trying to make the provincial level caliber, caliber team. Know that during these times, it is gonna be an unbelievable opportunity for you to go through some personal growth. It may sound too good to be true, you know, it might seem like, how's this all gonna work out? How's it gonna benefit me? How's it gonna help me? You know, the peak performers that have moved to the highest levels are embarking and working on these processes right now as we speak. When you work on becoming focused and staying in that focused state, it can be applied to every aspect of your life. You know, in the context of what's presenting itself to the world today, it's a very significant thing. If we are able to stay in some level of focus, trying to stay as present as we can, try to pay real close attention right now at times of what are your thoughts, what are your feelings, what are the images that are occupying your mind. They can get pretty intense. They can overwhelm you. And if you wanna to try to be a peak performer, it's not gonna be very conducive if we have all of that stuff stirring up. And with the circumstances around all of us, the whole world is under unbelievable. There's three and a half billion people that aren't going to work today. There's people that can't even leave their homes. What I'd like to share with you today are three very simple strategies. They are simple. They're things that you can build into your uh, situation right now to really help work on your focus because if you can manage your focus right now in trying times like this these are some of the biggest circumstances that have come to the human race in 90 years economical health psychologically socially everybody is being impacted in the entire world right now as we speak So if we work on a focus strategy, what does that look like to you as an athlete? What are some of the strategies that you're working on today? Do you have anything built in? What is your, you know, what is your night before routine look like? What are you doing in your night before routine? Do you have a specific time that you go to bed? Are you doing any imagery? Are you doing any visualization? That stuff in context to your bigger vision how clear does that look to you when you go into that world? And if you can work on your routines, night before is just one of many. There's many things. You need to have a morning before routine, going to the pitch routine, and this just doesn't apply to being a top performer as an athlete. This is applicable to being a top performer in your athletic pursuits, a top performer in your relationships that you're gonna have with your coaches, with your parents, with your neighbors, especially in times like this. There's a lot of stress going on in the world. So when you develop a focus where you can stay in some context of your thoughts, your feelings, and your images, and you can stay positive and attach and attract, be very careful how much social media you read because that'll bring a lot of stress to you. So keeping that to the outside is gonna be a definite asset. So when you think about that, you develop the rituals of practicing all of that stuff every single day because those are 100% controllables. When you work on the controllables, what that does, it allows you to stay in a laser focused situation. If you get too caught up in what's going on in the past or anticipating what's gonna go on in the future, that takes us out of sync, it throws us off. If we stay present, stay focused on your breathing, Stay focused on your positive thoughts, your positive images. Try to have an unbelievable feel state. For all of the peak performers, you've got enough inventories of peak performing that you can draw on 
and think about what I said earlier about even the concept of visualization. As you're about to walk into any situation, whether you're studying for a physics exam, whether you're going to a tryout over in England or Germany or Finland, or you're being recruited from a top US Division I school or you're being recruited by a professional soccer team. When you're walking in to those environments where you're going to show your true talent, the number one thing you have to be is you have to be really focused. And when you bring that high level of focus to that situation, what will happen for you is you can easily do a quick little visualization and you can actually do a fast forward and you can speed it up and you can already see yourself and feel yourself being phenomenally skilled, phenomenally talented and already being successful. Those are some strategies. And if you add to that and you do the daily repetition, night before, morning of, on your way to, because the venue is different for all of us. We're talking in the context of being a peak performer as an athlete. But remember, in the OPSM family, you have to build the entire athlete. You have to work on your technical, your tactical, your physical, and your mental. You have to work on your intellectual. You have to work on your heart set. You have to work on your mind. You have to work on your body. Bringing that to all four of those pillars will give you a foundation. The foundation, when you apply the reps daily and you continue to work on it, all of a sudden your ability to gain focus in all situations in life becomes very easy because what you're doing, it's just like all of the touches you've done from being a young kid till the present moment. You do a thousand touches, a hundred thousand touches, two hundred thousand touches, what happens when you're in a game and the ball comes to you and you need to execute, you don't even think anymore. With the strategies that we've talked about today, what happens as an individual, so if you take the time to work on some of the strategies that I talked about, thinking about you know, developing your rituals, working on your routines, and working on your repetition, if you integrate that into your daily routine, it will allow you so you can become that ultimate peak performer. You can become the benchmark. You can become that indomitable spirit that you already are. You're an automatic success machine as we speak. Imagine your heart is going to take 115,000 beats per minute or per day over a 24 day period. That's 115,000 heart rates, heartbeats. In the context of respiration, we take 20,000 breaths every single day. I'm 52 years old. That's many millions of heartbeats and many millions of respiration that it never, ever, ever falters. So all I can say in closing is that most importantly, in the OPSM family is the process that you're in is a big process. It's not an easy process. It's not a short process. This is long game stuff, not just as a player, but as a person, as a future engineer, as a businessman, wherever you're going to go, because your trajectory, the fact that you've come here today and you're paying any attention, and I hope you're taking some notes, your trajectory in your life is going to change. You're going to be able to regulate yourself while you're under significant stress to be able to perform to your highest standards of competition, regardless of competitive situations. Based on what's going on in the world today, there's never been a better time for anybody, anybody, anybody to start working on our inner game. Because when we master our inner game in the context of becoming focused and getting rid of all of that noise that's around us from the past, what's going to happen in the future, and we can get present and we can stay close, stay close to your heart. very important. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Jason Teal, mental toughness coach from the OPSM group. I want to thank all of you for coming out today. And I hope that the takeaway today, there's pieces in here that you can integrate into your life. And we're going to be building out as time goes on, we're going to be building out an online platform to give the athletes within the OPSM family globally because we are a global company now. And we have athletes all over the world on four continents. 
We want to bring the family together, but not just the family, but the collective consciousness of OPSM as a family so that we can help impact not just athletes, but we can impact communities and impact people that we don't even know yet. Once again, my name is Jason Teal. We'll talk to you later. Take care.